Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's Two Minute Tuesday, we're gonna be taking a look at selection cycling in AutoCAD. This is going to allow you to quickly select objects that may be below another object, like text behind a hatch, for example. I'm gonna show you how to turn selection cycling on and off, as well as a few settings and quick tricks for using it. Before we jump into today's video, I wanted to thank Plex Earth for partnering with the channel and blog to give away five free five month licenses to their new version five of the Plex Earth software. Uh, Plex Earth, if you haven't used it before, is an add-in for CAD, uh, AutoCAD and Civil 3D, as well as BricsCAD that allows you to sync and download satellite imagery and aerial imagery uh, that can be as recent as a few weeks using credits, allowing you to instantly upgrade your site plans and drawings, get up to date site information, and keep progress through a, say, a long term project. There are tons of uses for Plex Earth. I've covered them before on the channel. I'll put a few links down below to videos as well as a blog post that I've covered them in before. Uh, I think you guys are gonna really like this software if you give it a shot. So be sure to enter the giveaway down below and don't forget to subscribe to my email newsletter. Uh, that's where I post updates, winners, as well as new videos, tech gadgets, and news from the industry. All right, let's jump into today's video. So as I mentioned, we're taking a look at selection cycling in AutoCAD. When I go to select an object that may be below another object, this hatch, for example, is above this bedroom labeling text, uh, it'll select the object in front by default. Now, if you turn on selection cycling, which is down here to the right, uh, you can do so by clicking it to turn it on. If this button is not here, click these three lines to the right to customize your lower bar, and you can turn on the selection cycling button. You can also use the drafting settings or D settings command to access the drafting settings menu and turn on selection cycling through that menu. Selection cycling when turned on is going to bring up a menu which you can change in that settings dialog I just showed you. And once turned on, if you click on an object with another object below it, you're going to get the selection cycling menu here. From here, you can simply choose which object you would like to select. So if you don't want to change draw order of your objects within your drawing, and you simply want to quickly select one of those objects, turning on selection cycling is a great way to do that. By choosing the object you want, say the text for instance, it's now selected. You can simply edit your text now by right clicking or double clicking using M text edit here and editing the words. Now, the other shortcut or a shortcut to using selection cycling, if you don't like that menu popping up, uh, which many don't, myself included, you can turn it off on the bottom bar here and use the shift and spacebar command to bring it up only when you'd like to use it. Uh, so in this case, I'm trying to select the text here, but it's behind my hatch. So if I click, it's gonna select the hatch. If I hold shift and hit space, it's going to allow me to select the object behind with my next click. Now this isn't gonna work that well with a ton of objects. You may need to cycle using the shift and space, uh, but it is a great shortcut if you don't like that selection cycling menu popping up all the time. Uh, I use this quite a bit when I'm trying to grab things quickly, just hitting, holding shift, tapping space, and then clicking is gonna get you the object below. You can do it here to select the hatch, which was down below all of your objects. Again, that's hold shift and tap space, and then let go and click. So like that, and select my hatch. So that's it for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and let me know what you'd like to see in a future video, and enter the giveaway for one of the five-month free licenses to Plex Earth. 
along with a $100 image credit that comes along with it. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.